November the 12th, 2017, 4.36pm, an agile antichinus male, Joey, leaves the nest for the first time. Its limbs are weak and it's quite uncoordinated as it struggles to move through the loose leaves on top of the nest. Its little adventure lasts for no more than two minutes. Exhausted, it goes back into the nest and snuggles up with the other siblings. Over the next three days, the young male comes out once a day. Each time it does so, its coordination improves and it gets a little stronger. On the fourth day, another male ventures out soon followed by another. Day seven, the female joeys start venturing out. By the end of the second week, the first male joey is getting quite confident with climbing up and down the nesting hollow. Males mature much faster than females. Because their lives are short, they die soon after breeding. End of week three, all joeys are coming out of the nest together. They spend most of their time following each other up and down the nesting hollow. Sniffing and scratching is another fun activity. When their mother first left them in the nest, she would go out hunting for short periods of time, 15 minutes or so. As each week goes by, she increases her time out hunting. By the third week, she is now staying out for three hours. December the 9th, mum is now leaving the joeys for four hours and she's spending some of that time rebuilding a communal nest that she shared with other females in the off season. She's also sleeping there for short periods of time. Leaving the joeys for extended periods of time helps to encourage the joeys to venture out of the nesting hollow to find their own food. The first male joey to leave the nest is now taking a big interest in what's happening outside the nesting hollow. December the 12th, driven by hunger and the need to explore, the young male joey starts to make his move. He inches himself outside. He has one more look around for danger. Then he dashes out down the tree. then back into the nesting hollow. Each time he goes out, his confidence grows and he stays out a little longer. As it becomes dark, the other males join him. The female joeys wait for a few more hours before they go out. Each night they venture out, they go further and further, following mum's trails. Their mother will stay with them for another week regurgitating food as she returns from hunting. Soon she will move into the communal nest with the other females. The now juvenile joeys will have to defend for themselves from there on in. The juvenile joeys share the home nest for another seven days. Then they will disperse into other nesting sites with their own gender. But only a few days after their mother had left them, a black rat moved into the nesting site and scared the joeys off. They disperse out into other nesting sites in the surrounding area. Their mother drops in to check on the joeys, only to find an intruder.
she leaves the nest to the rat. Three weeks later, a pair of sugar gliders move into the nesting site and raise their own young and remain there for the whole of 2018, giving the agile females no opportunity to use the nesting site. August 2019, the sugar gliders have moved out and an agile Antichinus female takes up residence in the nesting site. And not far away I have another agile nesting site that I can study and I'm hoping that at least one of the nesting sites will continue right through the winter as a communal nesting site so that I can continue my studies on the agile Antichinus behaviour. bit of practice for me with voiceovers. Hope you enjoyed my little story about the agile Antichonus. But it's not finishing there. It's 38 degrees, stinking hot. I've come out into the forest to capture a bit of footage I desperately want. So it doesn't matter what the temperature is, I have to come out here if I want to get it. I have a very small window. Pretty well much the next two days and then it'll be all gone. Right, so I'm at nesting site number two which is where I have a stump and a fiberglass top so I can have my camera on top. Filming infrared. I'm sitting here with my remote away from the stump so I can relax and get out of the sun. I do have a platform to stand on. It's only about 1200 off the ground but I'm in full sunlight much better here with the mozzies. They're keeping me company. So the bit of footage I desperately want is mum coming to the nest. Hopefully feed her joeys. She has six joeys outside of the nest. I want to see her regurgitate. I'm 100% sure that she does do that at this stage because they've got teeth. She's not going to, she's trying to wean them off. So she'll be regurgitating food. And I'm hoping I can capture that on film. As I set my camera up on top of the stump so that I could film inside, I'm seeing straight away there are nine joeys on top of the nest. She has six, there's nine. So the joeys are already starting to come out of the nests and find other nesting sites to join. Maybe their parents died or something like that. Something's driven them out and come into here. So nine on top. And from what I could hear, it sounded like the Joey's Sandy, the owner, the female owner of this nesting site, her Joey's are inside the nest. So when mum comes in, hopefully she doesn't go straight down and into the nest. Hopefully she stops with all those other young there and just regurgitates and I can catch her on film. 
All right, so I'm all set up, ready to go. Remote in hand. Watch and wait and see what happens. So I didn't get the footage that I was after, but I come close. So Sandy came back up into the nesting box, straight down, bypassed all those juveniles that were on top of the nest. So obviously they're not hers, went straight into the nest. So I didn't get to see her regurgitate food at all. So I may have missed out on that. I do have the other nesting box. I'm gonna go over there tomorrow night, see whether I can capture anything from her. But having all those joeys in this nesting box is awesome. Amazing what I've already seen and filmed. All those joeys in that nest. It's just, ah, can't it be awesome if they can stay here right through the winter? Would just be exactly what I need to be able to continue my studies with the Agile Antichinus. This is a part of their lives I'm unsure about and I really like to see the dynamics of everybody living together. Uh, Reconfirm really some of the things that I've already learned but also learn something new as well. All right, that's enough of me waffling on. Hope you enjoyed this video, me practicing at voiceovers and uh, yeah, telling stories about the agile antichinus, spreading the word around the world about this beautiful little carnivorous marsupial. Mozzie's bite my nose. All right, so if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and get more of this amazing stuff, click on my pretty little face down there, the bottom right hand corner of this video and hit the little bell you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. Okay if you want to have a look at my channel end screens right here so click on this end screen that'll pop up at the end of this video take you to my channel. There's over a hundred videos to choose from there from me talking about all things to do with photographing and filming wildlife in a forest environment and heaps of other stuff as well. I buy camera equipment and I give you my opinion on them, little reviews. There'll be something there of interest to you, I'm sure. So go and have a browse. Now just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife and I'll catch you on the next one. Right, I'm going home for a shower. So yeah. <laughs>